Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of NJPW Extra. I'm Chris Charlton from the NJPW Events Center where it's been an incredibly busy week in New Japan Pro Wrestling. We're just hot off the heels of Battle in the Valley in the San Jose Civic. World Tag League and Best of the Super Juniors are underway. There's so much to get to including some exciting action this week as Yuya Uramura will take on David Finley in our featured match. That coming up later in the broadcast, but first, let's take a look at what's happening in New Japan Pro Wrestling around the world. In Japan and after the events of Power Struggle, we have our first main event of 2022. January the 4th and day one of Wrestle Kingdom 16 at the Tokyo Dome, we'll see Shingo Takagi defend the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship against Kazuchika Okada, the winner of the G1 and the holder of that B4 IWGP belt. Yet other tournament winners will also be looking to make an impact on Wrestle Kingdom 16, namely the winners of Best of the Super Junior 28 and World Tag League 2021. Both tournaments kicked off from a sold out Korokoin Hall this weekend. Best of the Super Junior 28 getting started with Bushi and Doki continuing their animosity, Hill Master Yoshinobu Kanamaru taking on former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champ Taiji Ishimori, 2012 winner Ryusuke Taguchi facing recently deposed champion Robbie Eagles, Master Wato going up against El Phantasmo, the recently returned Yo faced last year's winner Hiromu Takahashi and current IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion El Desperado took on show. Meanwhile, World Tag League started with an intriguing Suzuki Gun Derby as IWGP Tag Team Champions Zack Sabre Jr. and Taichi Dangerous Tekkers faced Minoru Suzuki and Takamichinoku in his first NJPW match in well over two years. Six-time IWGP Tag Champions Ten Koji took on Tiger Mask and Yuji Nagata. Back-to-back -back winners in the mid-2010s, Great Bash heel Omar Makabe took on last year's winners, Gorillas of Destiny, Tangaloa and Tamatonga. Aaron Hanare and Great Okan of the United Empire faced Chase Owens and Bad Luck Fale. The odd couple of Toriyano and Hiroshi Tanahashi faced House of Tortures, Yujiro Takahashi and Evil, while the first main event of World Tag League had Yoshihashi and Hiroki Goto against Sanada and, back from knee injury, Tetsuya Naito. In the US, and all the headlines were on Battle in the Valley, which is available on demand right now on NJPWWorld.com. No spoilers here, but before Battle in the Valley, NJPW Strong saw some incredible action, starting with the debut of Arya Davari as he took on Alex Zane. Davari showed some hard-hitting offense and dropped Zane with a hamlock DDT, but when the source took flight, he was able to innovate on offense. Davari sought a magic carpet ride, but would crash land and the taco driver sealed the deal for Alex Zane. In tag team action, Fred Rosser and Rocky Romero sought to get their hands on Team Filthy, Danny Limelight, and the strong openweight champion, Tom Lawler. Rocky Romero was controlled in the wrong corner until Rossa finally got in and fired furiously at both his opponents. As Rocky took to the skies to fly to limelight, Tom Lawler would get in a rear naked choke on Fred Rossa before Mr. No Days Off dropped his weight straight south and then bridged Tom Lawler's shoulders to the mat as the filthy strong champion was pinned on NJPW Strong for the first time ever. Such an upset was not going to be forgiven. All of Team Filthy jumping, Romero and Rossa, and then sickening scenes as Fred Rossa forcibly had his hair cut and then even eaten by Tom Lawler. Their eventual Strong Openweight Championship match is going to be a bitter and violent one indeed. Fred Yehai battled Jay White for the first time ever on Strong and had the switchblade sweating with a Koji clutch early, but it was Jay White one move ahead as he took control of the back and the knee. The DDT and a blade buster scored for Jay White, but Yehai would fire back with a German and a brain buster before going back to that Koji clutch. In the end though, wrestling's ultimate 
Counter Puncher was able to counter Yehai with a Snap Seeker Suplex and then the Blade Runner to pick up the victory. The main event of Strong was yet another first time ever singles meeting. Chris Dickinson taking on Minoru Suzuki. Dickinson wanted Suzuki at his most violent. Both went chop for chop and blow for blow before Suzuki went for the arm and then went out to the floor. The Dirty Daddy would fire back with a German suplex and laughed in the face of Minoru Suzuki's offense before hitting a brain buster for a near fall. But Suzuki was relentless with a choke and after a more strikes to Dickinson, landed the Gotch Star Piledriver to pick up the victory. An incredible week it's been in New Japan Pro Wrestling. We definitely want to remind you to head to NJPW World for all the action, including Battle in the Valley. If you haven't seen it yet, it was an unbelievable night that you can watch on demand, as well as World Tag League and Best of the Super Juniors on demand in English, as well as live coverage in Japanese throughout both tournaments. And when it comes to action in the US, the calendar is starting to fill up for 2022 when it comes to New Japan Strong. Stay tuned to NJPW1972.com for event information and ticket on sale dates. All right, so how about some action right now? This week, we're going to head to Dallas, Texas, and at Autumn Attack, Yuya Uramura faced David Finley one-on-one. -on -one. This has been a match that's had a lot of talk, a lot of buzz from people in the arena, and we're excited to bring it to you now. So let's head to ringside, where Matt Rayrolt and Alex Kozlov are calling the action. Another featured match here on New Japan Strong, extra right here on YouTube. 26 years young, a successful collegiate wrestler, a Fukuoka University graduate soon after signing with New Japan Pro Wrestling and now an excursion here in America. Looking to prove himself against any and all opponents, and he's gonna have his hands full here tonight with a very experienced opponent in that man right there. Generation wrestler grew up with a ring in his backyard. He's got wrestling DNA in him. He's he's been wrestling all his life. That's right. Trained Certified by his father. Him. Absolutely. And then went through the NJPW dojo system. Became a attack champ with uh, Juice Robinson known as Finn Juice at Impact Wrestling and also New Japan Pro Wrestling. And this is a very interesting uh, matchup in my mind, now. You have two people here. You know, you have Uemura, who's here. He is part of the dojo. He's been invited to the LA dojo. He's here on the US in excursion, as you said. And then you have David Finley, somebody who's been in that situation before. He's been one of the dojo boys. He's gone through that experience. In Japan, though, somebody from this side of the world who spent his formative years in Japan, and unlike Yurimura, who spent his formative years in Japan, oh, excuse me, who are now spending his formative years in America, away from his home. Finley's been where Yurimura has been. He's walked those roads. No doubt about it. And he's got the experience. And this is going to be an experience for Yuya to raise somebody like David Finley. He's been doing this a while. He knows what Yuya's been through. He's been through that training. Like I said, walk those walks. It's time to see if Yuomura can live up to what David Finley has become. 
I definitely see unlimited potential in him. He reminds me of a young Tanahashi. Good looking kid, well -known. hungry to learn. Look at that. Answering everything, moving with lightning speed, something that he himself is known for. My goodness. How fast was that? Impressing the crowd here in Dallas as well, and impressing, quite frankly, you and me. He's probably impressing uh, Finley here as well. He finds his own way out right into a side headlock. You might fire some tap. Finley to the cover right away, not wasting any time. No, both these men have incredible explosiveness. I've been working a lot with David Finley over at Impact Wrestling recently. It's something I've noticed a lot about. His speed, his explosiveness, especially at the right times in a match, can really change the complexion of what's going on. Over the course of the years, you, you learn the timing and you, you know when to execute. But David Finley is real good at that. And we've already seen in this match of both Obviously, both men know their wrestling. They know their holds. They know their submissions. They know how to grapple. That's or in the opening 30 seconds of this matchup, we've already seen that. I really think it's going to be the experience factor that comes into play. Things like that to show David Finley why he is who he is. He takes you more. Over. Did he just do a cartwheel? He did. He cartwheeled himself out of that headlock, and now he's got the upper hand with his own headlock here. And like you said, he does know how to grapple as well. He was an amateur in Georgia. An area known to be one of the toughest oh. wrestling regions. But Yuya not letting up. No, and Yuya kind of, uh, from lack of better, outsmarting Finley there for a second. And Finley went for the up and over, but Yuya saw it come and stopped short. But Finley turns it right back around. And this crowd getting behind the young man, Yuramura here. Well, they're excited. Whoa. It is exciting to see uh, a, a young guy who you, you can just see a star all over him in the future. You know, they get to witness the beginning of this man. On, he's, one of the, he's one of these young men, doesn't even have to say a word if he didn't want to. His, his energy, the way he moves, the way he does what he does, the way he does his craft here in the ring speaks to an audience more than words ever could as now he whips off these arm drags, two deep arm drags to David Finley. And Uemura is feeling it here tonight. I got to say, it's been back and forth action, about even. I'm yes. very impressed with you, yeah. I, I, and I will tell you, I did not expect that. It's even in these opening moments, I expected Finley to dominate these opening moments. But it has been very back and forth, very 50-50. As Finley, oh, look whoa. at that. Oh, hip tosses him to the outside. Wow. Finley like, getting a little frustrated here. And I can't blame him, almost, almost like, a ballet dance, they were going move, move, toe to toe, and then it was Finley who got dumped over the ropes, and he's, he's got to find, he's got to find a way to regroup here. You walk into a match with a young line, you don't always expect such a fight, such a competitive competition. So far, Yuya has been really showing up, showing off. Oh, cuts him off with Ooh. a sharp, vicious back elbow, and a senton, and a pin. Kick out for the young man, though. And maybe that was just it. Some, you know, back and forth, move for move on the grappling. Finley says, you know what? That's all good until you get socked in the mouth. Or should I say elbowed in the mouth. He's just pulling on the nose of Yuya here, the referee. Definitely a change of strategy for Finley here. Maybe decide if I'm not going to out-wrestle him, I'm going to out-smash mouth him. And out strike him. He's just. But ooh. I think I he's how. trying to get Yuya angry. He's trying to get in the head of Yuya. Could be. Hard European uppercut. Again. Finley, oh. Finley knows what it's like to be in those in those footsteps. He knows what it's like to be in those shoes. He knows what Yuya is feeling like. Yes. He knows the pressure. He, he's he been knocked around by a couple legends in his day too. Into the cover. Yuya kicks out. He, he's been European uppercutted. He's been chopped by a few New Japan legends in his time. He wants to make sure this young man gets that experience. He goes, setting him up. Snap suplex over into the cover once again. Forcing Yuya to cut out, cut, excuse me, kick out yet again. The fans trying to motivate Yuya. 
And a back and forth chant for both Finley and Uemura here. A tight headlock here by Finley, grounding Yuya, trying to slow him down, take the energy out of him. And I mean, Alex, I know it's been about 50 years since you were a rookie, but I mean, you got it. What was it like? What do you do in a situation like this? How do you, how do you bring it back for someone like you, Amora? Here, in the cover. I would say just keep oh. doing what you're doing. <laughs> like that. In just the cover, like that. Look at that. You're gonna feel the butterflies. There's no, no way around it. Just go with it. Use that energy. Look at that drop kick. Catches him in the face. And Yuya here has just been showing every variance of what we do in that ring. The strength to power up out of that jackknife. The wrestling ability to turn it into a backslide. The explosiveness to turn it into that huge drop kick, which has changed the tide of this matchup in his favor. We see the ability of him to be able to feel his uh, instincts here, and that's why he's on top right now. I have to imagine Shibata-san is looking on very proud. What are you seeing out of his student here? And Yuya is firing up to the delight of the fans here in Dallas, Texas. Fans here in Texas have been very impressed with Yuya here as he puts that drop kick right into the corner, caught upside the chin of David Finley, lifting him up. Finley fighting out of that belly to back situation. Nasty elbows to the back of the neck. But Yuya fires oh, back that double, double chop, chop, baby. Oh, and there's the belly back to back. Suplex. Not enough to put Finley away. Now, Yuya, he's in that, that point in the matchup. He's in that place where he's got to find out what he's got to do to end this. He's come roaring back. How does he close it out? That's exactly it. You come to a point where you, you try to figure out, what do I got to do to put somebody like David Finley out? Working on that arm. Focusing on that body part. Oh, oh what a beautiful execution. Ringing the arm, dropping it straight to the mat with all his body weight, and now slowing it back down, working on the arm of David Finley. And let's not forget what David Finley's been through as well, fighting the likes of the Bullet Club all oh. over the country, but turning it around. No, oh, just barely. You have to imagine Yuya here is on his last bits here, last bit of gas possibly. Barely getting that shoulder up out of that spinning backdrop from Finley. Finley is probably wondering what he's got to do to put a, to take him away. If there's any ounce of energy in Yuya, that, that is the fighting spirit. And, oh, my goodness. So he, so he decides to dump him into the ropes. It appears as though that injured the leg here of Yuya. And the fans here not not happy with that, thinking that maybe, maybe Finley's taking the cheap way out, using the ring as a weapon here. What's with the dissatisfaction? That's just the experience, the veteran that is Finley. Oh. Locking him in. Being creative here, and he's got him locked up here. Will Third, this be enough? STF here, locked in on the young lion. And he's got him in the middle of that ring. Bad place for Yuya. He's gonna have to crawl all the way to the ropes, use every ounce of strength to both not tap out and bring himself to the rope. Exactly, and every time you And oh, veteran instincts from Finley locking that arm. One less appendage to try to get to that bottom rope. And now Yuya's in a bad way. But He's able to get to the rope. And you saw he used that last burst of strength to just heave his body around, get his foot to the rope because his arm couldn't reach. That was smart thinking from the young man. And Finley, Finley. Ta taking some exception to, uh, to maybe a comment from one of the uh, fans not too happy with his tactics here in Texas. Yuya continuing to fight despite the damage to his Oh, oh look at that. Orange drags him over. Reversal, charging into the corner. Finley fights him with the boot. Charging right out with the Lariat. No, Charles for the armbar. Floating over with an armbar of his own. 
This he could be the it. arm earlier. And now it's Finley who's caught in the dead center of the ring. Nowhere to go. I mean, he could dislocate the shoulder if he stays in that. How is Finley? He could do all kinds of damage, long-term damage if even. Pulls him back. Drops wow. an elbow. Gets him back into it. This is a painful, painful submission to be in. You can see it etched on the face of David Finley. He is in a bad way as the young lion is trying to end this matchup. I tell you, Matt, I did not expect you to bring this kind of fight to David Finley. No. And Finley, just like Yuya before him, using his feet with his arms out of commission, with his arms not able to get there, heaves his legs over to the bottom rope, breaks the hold. Well, if I was you, I would continue to work on that arm. You've got to. You can't let a veteran, someone in Finley's position, you can't let him rest. Ooh, crossbody directly into the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, turns him over for a pin, too. Oh, my God. That was a close one there, Alex. And there, oh. oh dropped him on his knee. Right into the backbreaker. And oh, my God. Man, what is going on here? I That's am a two. How does he find the wherewithal to kick out? Finley calling for it. Suplex up. Oh! Across the knee. Brain buster that on the knee. Over. That's got to be. And it is. What a match. I certainly did not expect this kind of match out of Yuya. I know that he's good and he's got a lot of potential, but he's ahead of the game. David Finley is the one who will have his arm, if he can still lift it, raised in victory. Raised the good arm. But you got to imagine, just like you and I are, that he is looking at Yuya Uemura in a very different light after this contest. If I had a choice, I wouldn't wrestle Yuya again. <laughs> I mean, if I had already beaten him, I wouldn't ask for another match with him because it's not gonna be an easy one. No. And there, Finley extending the hand. Clearly, Yuya earned the respect of Dave here. Maybe they'll go out for a few beer skis after this. You never know. I don't, I don't know what kind of, maybe, maybe a whiskey or two. Maybe I'll join him. And there you go, David Finley giving the ring to the young lion, Yuya Yormora who gave an incredible performance. Very impressive right here on New Japan Strong Extra. And I'm sure it won't be the last performance of that style from that young man. What a fantastic match as David Finley was pushed to his limits by Yuya Uemura, who continues to impress on his excursion as part of the LA Dojo. And speaking of the LA Dojo, they'll be in action next week as well. In our featured match, it's going to be six-man action as the DKC and Kevin Knight will be teaming with the debuting Lucky Ali to take on Jordan Clearwater, Will Allday, and the returning AJZ. Trust me, you're going to see the future of New Japan Pro Wrestling in an exciting six-man contest. That coming up next week. All right, can't wait to see you. Until then, Gokigenyo, sayonara.